The fastest way to fulfill Shopify orders has been revealed. What is up everyone, Sri Kanase here. And in this video, we're going to be diving into exactly how you can fulfill Shopify orders and what is the most efficient way to get that done. But if you're new to this channel, like always, make sure to smash that subscribe button down below it helps you stay up to date with the content I'm putting out basically every week. And there was a little extra content this week because three videos have come out. And next week it's going to get even better because the more time I have, the more videos I can make for you guys. So definitely subscribe and stay up to date with the videos that are about to come because they're going to be epic and game changing. Also in addition, I have a free Facebook group that is full of e-com entrepreneurs just like yourself who are trying to get ahead in the game. So if you're interested in joining a free group full of value, make sure to click the link in the description. It is closer to the end of the description. And let's jump right into how to get those orders fulfilled. So for you guys personally, I have created a draft order. And this is the exact order that I am going to be using to fulfill the orders. And just before continuing, just know that I will be using Oberlo to fulfill this order and show you guys how it's done. Now I personally have started using Dropified instead of Oberlo just because it's much cheaper once you start getting orders coming in and also because it's more efficient to use. But for the beginners, Oberlo is definitely the number one tool that I recommend to start fulfilling the orders. So let's go to our app section and go ahead into Oberlo to see what happens when you get an order. By the way, you don't see a new order here because I created a draft order, but I have placed a new order and that is what we're going to be seeing in Oberlo. So let's head down to Oberlo and open up Oberlo. So here we are in our dashboard and as you can see to order it tells you that you have one order over here. Whenever you get orders, Oberlo starts to show how many orders you have left to fulfill. And once you have fulfilled those orders, they get changed into this tab over here which says in processing. Which simply means that the orders are getting processed and have not yet shipped but are currently in process. So they are going to be shipped soon. But just know that once you do order the product, it, it goes from it to order to in processing. So let's go ahead to our to order list and see what I have ordered. So specifically, I've ordered the yoga mat massager from this test store I have created. And I've also input a customer, a test customer with a test address. Of course, this is going to be a specific customer that is someone else and real for you guys. But for me, since I did it, it's a test customer. So a cool thing that you can do with Oberlo is just click on the customer name over here to see all of their details. So as you can see, the name, country, address, etc. It just gives you an overview of who ordered and who you're going to be shipping the item out to. So it becomes easier for you to handle and keep track of. But our main focus is going to be on this section over here. It tells me that I have to install AliExpress via Oberlo, but for this example, I do not have to do that. In this section over here, it tells you the name of the product they ordered, a specific variant for the product which they ordered, and whether there has been a tracking number installed or not, and what quantity they ordered and the price. So let's go ahead and get to the main stuff, which is placing the order. It's really simple with Oberlo. All you have to do is click on place order manually. And when you click on that, a new link pops up with a link to the specific product on AliExpress. And since we did click place order manually, we're going to have to manually select all the variants and enter the address and everything. So let's go back and see which variant they ordered. So it's a 02. So in this case, it's going to be this one right here. All you have to do is just click on buy now and you'll get taken to the address section. Now this is where the customer name and info comes into hand because we get to just copy and paste all of this stuff right into our section over here. And as you can see, it gives you the option of directly pressing copy to just copy all of this to your clipboard. But again, it is super simple. Just go ahead and enter all the info for the customer over here. And when you scroll down while ordering the product, you want to leave a special message for the seller that is going to be shipping out your item. And the message is, please do not include any promotions in this order because I'm drop shipping this product. This is a really important message that you need to have every single time you're ordering something on AliExpress. It is because Chinese suppliers usually like to include promotions in their packages. Maybe a promotion for a specific product on their AliExpress account or anything else. And since we're dropshipping, we do not want any promotion sent because our customers are going to find out that we're kind of ripping them off by ordering their items on AliExpress and they're not going to be very happy about that. So to prevent any types of unsatisfied customers, 
make sure to include this message every single time you're ordering on AliExpress just to prevent a lot of chargeback. As for shipping, you want to make sure ePacket is available. I usually do not list any items on my store which do not have ePacket shipping. But once you've done that, just go ahead and enter your card info and press confirm and pay. Once you have confirmed and paid for the order, you'll see that a specific tracking number gets installed to this order. It is the AliExpress order number. And if it does not get automatically updated, all you have to do is just click on add and copy and paste the AliExpress order ID from your orders page to here. And what that does is it keeps this specific order in track to your AliExpress order. So whenever the order does get shipped on AliExpress, you can then sync that order info, such as the tracking number, directly to this specific order. And it becomes super easy to control from there. But that is the basic process of ordering and fulfilling orders via Oberlo for your Shopify store. A lot of people really get worried and anxious about this part, but trust me, it is really easy. And once you get the hang of it, it gets even easier and faster. So it may be somewhat hectic in the first few times that you do do it, but later on, it's definitely going to become easier. And as I just showed you in this video, the process is really simple. So if you guys did find value in this video, make sure to smash that like button down below. It lets me know that you guys are liking my videos and I should put out even more videos just like these ones. And I'll see you guys next time.